Hello, I am Dr. Ajit Jha. We are junior residents from Department of Anesthesiology at BPKHS Taran. Today we have made this video to demonstrate to you the steps of donning a personal protective equipment. Uh, this is a personal protective equipment that we have devised from local resources. This is not an st standard PPE, but uh, in, in scenario of a shortage that we are having today, we have designed this and it's supposed to replace uh, the normal surgical gowns. So we shall uh, demonstrate to you the process of donning this and she will be donning and I will be the uh, body doing the checklist and helping her out with the donning process. Now we have entered the donning area. Now we shall perform the steps of donning this PPE. First of all, we will perform a hand hygiene and cover any cuts or abrasions with waterproof dressing. Put on rubber boots if available. If not, wear closed shoes. Put on the shoe cover that is uh, a knee, knee length high and make sure it is fastened well. After the shoe cover, now we will put on the respirator. Hold mask to cover nose and mouth. Pull lower strap and take it over the head below the ears. Pull and take the upper strap over the head and over the ears. Check if the straps are tight fitting. Press over the nose piece and over the cheek for a tight fit. The lower portion of the mask should go below the chin. Blow out forcefully. Air should not come out of the mask or around it. Do not enter the patient area if it does not fit properly. Now we will put on the goggles and check if it is a tight fit. Now we will put on the head cover or the hood. It should fit around the face and the jaw, ensure good overlap with the mask too. Now we will put on the inner gloves, the short one. After the gloves, now we will put on the reinforced gown. It should be of adequate length, neither too long nor too short. Make sure that the gown is tied at the sides too. Now put on the second pair of gloves, the long sterile ones. We need to ensure that this glove is taped to the gown as well so that when we remove it, it comes out as a unit. After this second pair of gloves, now we put on the long plastic apron. Now we will put on the short shoe cover. Now we will put on the visor or the face shield, ensure that no skin is showing and it is uh, around the jawline and to the sides of the hood. Now put on any working gloves or sterile gloves as required with the procedure.
This completes our doning process and the body should always check and reconfirm each steps and at last we shall mark with a marker at the side of the soldier we shall mark the designated personnel.